nervous and excited. What's your character called? Lisa. Lisa, what did she do in the film? She's just a school kid, isn't it? Bill. At the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Tricks her. And what did she do? She's just a schoolgirl. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, got to see it first, haven't it? Oh, you look guys are me. I'm not trying to Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come in. 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 should go to Real Manchester who've worked with, well they've worked with adults as well and you'll see and you'll know many of them when they come through the door. So can I actually now welcome the cast of Fameless. Thank you. Say thank you to all the people. <laughs> um, I'd like to say thank you to my mum. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to Kim Brood or wherever she is. Where is she? Thank you, Kim. Alright, was it easy to thank you? Um, I'd definitely like to say thank you to New Deal for funding this because this has been one excellent project. Um, you don't mind me saying, I read through about New Deal about being innovative and taking risks. Well, that's definitely what you've done now and it's worth a treat as you can tell. Um, I'd like to thank Real Manchester. <laughs> they are one top building. The fact is that it's took us four months to get here, and it's been a real hard slump for the kids and the adults involved in it. And like, at the end of the day, there's lots of things that I said about people from Salford or the Salford Juice. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't make, it doesn't add up to me at all, not when I see these people here tonight doing what they've done, and I think they deserve a big round of applause. I'm, I'm really, really, really humble 
humbled by tonight. I really am. For so many people to turn out for, for the film that everyone's done, it is, it is wonderful and what a fantastic way to spend a Saturday night celebrating. I've got a few things to say. Like Real Manchester's been working in Salford for the past three years. And even though we're Real Manchester, we've actually spent more time in Salford than we have anywhere else. And we've come to just really, really love the warmth and the wealth of the spirit of the community. When we've been filming, we've had 50 people on the street when City and United were both on the telly, all stuck behind us, all clapping and cheering. And you just can't be that. The, the warmth of Salford community is absolutely wonderful. And I really want to move to Salford now. And I'm not just saying that. Right. <laughs> right, but well, this project was meant to be a small 10 minute project, but so many people came from so many different parts of, of the NDC area. We just had to make it bigger, we made it longer. We started off talking about tolerance and we've looked at the many, many different areas of tolerance. And that's what the whole of this film comes from. But we decided to make it a comedy. All right, and it is, it's very, very funny. I've got loads of people to thank, there's NDC. I'd like to say a big sorry to Real Salford who are here tonight, who've set up and see the online word that they're absolutely brilliant, and they've had to wait ages to get in. So sorry, I hope you accept the apologies. And um, something I'd like to say, really, uh, is about people coming together. And with the use of that new technology that we've got now, real people can make films for themselves, they can make their own radio, they can come together and do things. And if we can do it, you can do it. And I just think that is the future of our working class communities. And thank you for how the warmth that what you've shown us, we are Manchester in Salford. Thanks very much. I'm going to introduce you to a man who gave Real Manchester their first chance a long time ago in Stevie and Manweather. And all that time he was harboring his own dream and he was writing his right away. And he's now become one of the, the best poets in Manchester or in, in the North West. So all back from Glastonbury, I'd like to put your hands together for Tony Walsh. Good evening. How are you, Salford? How are we doing, Salford? Yeah. Thanks, God, Jackie. Um, my name is Tony Walsh. It's, it's a real honour and privilege for me to be here this evening because I have worked with uh, Bill Manchester in my day job in CD and Labour there. Um, she's asked me to do a couple of poems this evening. She's asked, she's asked me because I write poems for the same reason that um, Bill Manchester made films, which is, as she says, uh, to give working class people the chance to tell our own stories in our own voices. So I've got two serious poems for you before you, uh, if you bear with me. Yeah, poems. There's a, big, there's a big campaign on the moment called Make Poetry History, and uh, you can all sign up to it after. Uh, two big poems. Um, these poems for me, these poems for me are about why we need projects like New Deal for Communities, and why we need projects like Real Manchester, because they're both about people who feel trapped, and with no choices, and with no hope, and these, these projects are all about hope. And the first one, is written in the voice of a young girl, she's maybe 16, 17, She's a young girl outside the off-license with her mates and with her lads. She hasn't got fancy words to tell us a story, but that perhaps makes it all the more powerful. It's a poem written in the way people speak about the things they don't speak about. And it's called A Girl Like You Know. <coughs> when I met him and that, I just liked him and that. There was something about him, you know, and we were all a bit like, and we just saw a kiss like, and ended up around the back like, you know. And then later in that, when I found out and that, I was like flipping it, like, you know. I told him and that, and I showed him and that, and he just did his head in, you know. And my mum was like, no way, like, and then she was okay, like, she's been dead good now, like, you know. I'm like, are you moving in, like, to work with his kid, like? And he's like, whatever, you know. <laughs> so we got our own flat, like, but the area was crap, like. And we need loads of stuff, like, you know. And then, I had Kyle like, and now, for a while like, I felt a bit crap like, you know? And he hates me in that. And he's kicked me in that. But I love him in that. 
Right, you know. And sometimes I think like I've ruined my life, like. But then I'm like, what life, you know? Cheers. It's for those of you who love music. There's a song that works about how music can take to a different place from what your day-to-day life's like, and it's called um, Special Place. <laughs> Loneliness. Hopelessness. Helplessness. Emptiness. She sets fire to hope and sucks it in through a cigarette. Without a light from a friend, she takes the smouldering end and lights another cigarette. She's not poor because she's smoking, she's smoking because she's poor and it's the only thing warm in her life and the only thing she's left to hold. Apart from loneliness and hopelessness and helplessness and emptiness. She takes a bottle of hope and drains a glass like she's needing it. She does the same thing again and then again and again because she's needing it. She's not lonely because she's drinking, she's drinking because she's all alone and it used to make her feel so alive, now she needs it to ease the pain of loneliness and hopelessness and helplessness and emptiness. She takes hope from its sleeve and puts the needle in the record's vein. She plays the same song again and then again and again because he sings, he loves a girl with her name. She's not smiling because she's dancing, she's dancing just to raise a smile because she never goes nowhere and music can take her to a special place. Because she never goes nowhere and music can take her to a special place. Because she never goes nowhere and music can take her to that special place. Away from loneliness and hopelessness and helplessness and emptiness. Thank you. Without further ado, please give a big welcome on behalf of New York for Communities, on behalf of Real Manchester, I am hugely proud to present Fabulous. For the, for the cast. We've got some very important people from Real Manchester to thank. Uh, can I invite them to take the stage uh, one by one, please? The first one is the writer of the film, Sophie Soul, Chris Green. Thank you very much. I can't see anyone, which is probably a good thing. Um, this is the second film that I've, I've written for Real Manchester, and I swore that I'd never come back. Uh, I, swore, I swore that I'd never come back to the heart of. Uh, where United fans are based, being a balloon, it's been hard for us. You turn up for the drama workshop, everyone's got a red top on, do you know what I mean? It really puts years on you. Uh, I'd, I'd just like to say, would you ever have thought that these kids and some of the adults have never ever acted before? It's absolutely wonderful. I'd, I'd, like, to, I'd like to call up two of my glamorous uh, partners in crime. Uh, the first is the education manager who works with Real Manchester and all the films, the lovely Claire Shrine. <laughs> and the other glamorous sidekick, the, the lady who does all the wonderful music for all the Real Manchester films, Stella Grunder. This week, I've worked with four films, done the music from, it wasn't a lot of music in this, because the acting was so good. The best group I've ever made worked with ever. Fantastic from the minute you started. And that film just shows him, so get on with it and do more. Alright. Well, the first award is, I think, called The Real Manchester Family You Least Like to Live Next Door to. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Jackie! Jackie! Yeah, this family likes to drink in a brawl, but in reality, this man is a fantastic youth worker whose enthusiasm and commitment to the community made this project the success that it is. It's long suffering wife, it's a great actress. 
Oh, we're bringing him up first before I read that bit. Come on then. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's a superstar. Do you know what? I didn't think you'd be able to get up in and deliver a sentence without swearing. I'm really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moving on to his long-suffering wife. Uh, she's a great actress. And although she's waited a long time for this opportunity, she certainly has the talent to carry on. And I wish her the very best of luck and hope to see her on the telly soon. <laughs> Mrs. Skaggett, thanks for It's been a privilege to be involved in this film. Um, all the young people and adults and everybody, we really built relationships. It's been great fun and I hope we can do it again. And thank you for everybody for tuning up. Thank you. The song worked incredibly hard throughout all the workshops and was always polite and welcoming to everyone. He deserved this great part and I hope that he's as proud of himself as we are. Chris Lysa. Do you want to introduce her to her then? No, you're not. Right. <laughs> Even though she was the youngest member of the group, this young lady is an actress full of potential. She was far too young to be in the project. But once we saw her cute little face and her sheer determination, how could we turn her away? I'm glad that we didn't. Abby, come on stage. Okay, and over to Stella, who's going to... Right, the Real Manchester's very own Royal Family Award, I think your mouth there. This award goes to a couple who played their role with honesty and real realism. Although, unbelievably, they didn't even want to act in the start. They came up with such a convincing couple, Ricky Tomlinson and Sue Johnston had better watch themselves. That's them from Brookside. <laughs> you know what I mean? The spoiled daughters of this family were mean and sly, just like many teenagers, playing one parent off against the other. But well done to these two girls who have grown in confidence tremendously and remained patient throughout the many hours of filming. Right. So, this award goes to, as if we didn't know, the Bad Cake family. So Claire and Stephen will be happy, but as you can Wait. say, they did absolutely brilliantly. They're uh, flying back from the holidays today. And also to Lisa and Trixie Barncake, played by Michaela and Joni Petro. <laughs> Do you think you want to sign thing? <laughs> so thanks. thanks. <laughs> Lovely dress. Thanks. Yay. Yay. Okay, this next award is the Real Manchester Romeo and Juliet Award. This award is the two young people who supported each other throughout the project and dealt with quite a difficult issue in a mature and sensitive My way. God. They created a wonderfully sweet relationship on screen. That, let us, that left us wondering, will they or won't they? Well, I'm a romantic fool, so I hope that their characters would. And this award goes to, as if, I, if, as if we don't Gemma know, Gemma, otherwise known as Shaga, Shazza Skagit, and Golby, who unfortunately isn't here this evening. We are Gemma, really well done. Do you want to say anything? Hello. This award goes to three people who, even though they didn't have large roles, still played them brilliantly and didn't go once about not having as many lives as the others. They worked hard and got on with everything and showed great potential and patience. The real man said you're all going to get big parts in the next film award goes to Michael Dunn, Liam Jones, Thomas Denson. <laughs> Camera. Thomas. 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 Thomas.
the next award is the Real Manchester Most Moved On Award. This award goes to someone who only had one line in the script and managed to be in nearly every scene. He worked really hard and even helped monitor the film, telling me my job a couple of times. <laughs> this award goes to... Anthony Brooker. You are The next Real Manchester Award is the Wooden Spoon Award. This is the Mixon Award for causing trouble in an empty house. Every film needs a couple of trouble causes, like him, to get the tension going. This award goes to Rebecca Lees and Jade Ward for their portrayal of Shane Faith. Really, really well done. This next award is the Real Manchester Dashing and Smashing Award. These two young men were always full of so much enthusiasm and energy that I felt exhausted just watching them. Despite being two of the youngest members of the group, they played the most magical and playful characters in the film, and they were absolutely great fun to have in the group. This award goes to... I think we all know. Yeah. This award goes to Ajanda and Omar. Thank you. Okay, the next award is the Real Manchester Hidden Gem Award. This award goes to the quiet, ignored member of an overpowering household for her fantastic acting and singing made it impossible for us to ignore this young lady. When she sang her in an audition piece, we couldn't believe how like Stella she sounded. So Stella, you better watch out for this one. The Real Manchester Hidden Gem Award goes to... Stacey Harper. Your Oscar is there. My favourite character in the film, John Myler. Come on. Thank you very much everybody for coming. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. It's hard dancing with no music to dance to. Um, <laughs> no, to dance around. And it was, it, well, at first it was no music, and then it was around, around, but it was really enjoyable. And glad to see you all here. Thank you. <laughs> the next uh, Real Manchester Award is the Girls Allowed Award. They say it's not as hard to play a baddie. <laughs> and these four young ladies didn't want to play these characters at first, but we saw them go on and take a journey from being a teacher's nightmare to compassionate teenagers. The characters they created were realistic, and they were, now I work with you a lot, and they were, weren't they? <laughs> and showed how easy it was to go along with the crowd, but these four girls, just like their characters, stood out from the crowd and showed that they've got a heart of gold. So, these awards go to... I don't think so. <laughs> On Linka. Yeah. Gotta be, aren't it? Kelly. 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 Yeah. Laura. Blossoming Flowers Award. This award is for two brave and intelligent young women who have, in my opinion, gone on the most impressive journey. They've blossomed and grown in confidence and successfully played characters who were very, very different from themselves. And this award... This award goes to Benija and also Kajan, who unfortunately couldn't isn't here this evening, but a really, really well done. So, believe that. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the next award is a real Manchester want to watch out for award. This talented young lady was something special from the start. She was always ready to meet any challenge given to her and incredibly sweet natured. The character she played touched everyone and showed us that even when life seems tough, if you stick, stick at what you believe in, you'll come out top in the end. The real Manchester want to watch out for award goes to Rachel Mulvey. Yeah! I couldn't have done it without you, Rachel, so thank you. That's it for Rachel. Who's down there to be proud? This is uh, the real Manchester Scary Movie Award. <laughs> <laughs> when he used to come along to the drama workshops in his own, he used to come with you, didn't he? He used to, he used to pull the window up, mate. So I thought we've got a part for him. This goes to a young man who's worked really hard at every session and created this very chilling part himself. We think he's uh, solved his very own Wes Craven. The award goes to the very oh, scary uh, oh. slash Umar. <laughs> I'm just buzzing, man. Okay. The Royal Manchester Mother You Wouldn't Mess With Award. <laughs> this award is for an inspirational woman who not only supported her group fantastically during the sessions, but also turned out to be a great actress. I work very closely with that group and I really do feel privileged to have had the opportunity to work with you over the last few months. So thank you. And this award goes to... Ajira Azad. <laughs> of his scenes where he had the crew in stitches with his brilliant actions and expressions. He's not only an inspiration to his community, but he's also a man with great acting potential. And tonight, on for well, the winner, I will tell you, everybody probably already knows anyway, is, is Tommy Lever. But unfortunately, he's poorly and he can't be with us tonight. And we're all really, really, really gutted. So I really hope, if, if, if it's okay, his wife would like to come and collect his award for him. Tommy can't be with us tonight, but he sends his best wishes. And he usually loves this sort of thing. He's brilliant. Tell him we are. We've missed him. Thank you. Let's hear it for everyone on stage. in the third role is a huge part of everything that Real Manchester has achieved. He's Terry, he's one of the co-founders of Real Manchester. He's the cameraman, he puts millions of hours into the editing. The films get better every, every time. Let's hear it for the very honest Terry Eagle. The other people we need to thank very importantly um, are the people who make this happen from a funding point of view. As somebody said before, he takes a, a lot of risks and a lot of imagination as a, as a, as a local officer to, to make these things happen. These aren't the sort of projects that, that look good on balance sheets because they, man, they measured in smiles and confidence and, and changes in people's lives and in communities. So a lot of hard work goes on behind the scenes, filling in forms, funding returns, convincing committees. Let's hear it for everybody in New York communities and creating the community to the team. It's been a fantastic night for Salford, I think. Um, a lot of people, as somebody said before, a lot of people are quick to put Salford down in the press and in the media, but there's a lot of really positive changes happening in this city. We're studying one, this film is another. As we all stand up to leave, you might have seen the campaign in the, in the evening news at the moment, Stand Up for Salford. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, let's say for the evening news for Stand Up for Salford, yeah? So if you stand up to go, can we all stand up together, please? Stand up for Salford and make some noise for Salford. You've been watching famous, you've 
Thank you, fantastic. Thank you, good night. Ha, ha, ha.